What's going on everybody? Dog trainer, behavior technician, Drayton Michaels. Let's talk about waiting at doors. Wait. Okay. Get your dog to wait at doors. It's very important. Hey, what's going on everybody? Thanks for tuning in to Modern Dog Training. We're gonna talk about waiting at doors with your dog and why that's so important. When you get your dog to learn that waiting at doors is reinforcing, you have a great way to implement impulse control on a daily basis. It's also a safety measure. When you get to the door, ask your dog for a sit or they can stand and then ask for a wait. Remember, wait is like a yellow light. Red is a stay, yellow is a wait. So when your dog is waiting at the door, crack that door just a bit, maybe about a quarter inch. And if they move ever so slightly towards the door, shut the door. That shutting of the door is the timeout. That is the consequence for moving towards the door. When you do this consistently, your dog should figure out relatively quick that moving towards the door, whether it's a gate, the door to your house, or a car door, they will figure out not to go through the door until they're released. It's a good idea to have a release cue. Okay, or all done, or go through, Something to let the dog know that the wait is over. Wait. Okay. All right, wait. Okay. Okay. So remember, teaching your dog to wait at doors is great impulse control that you can practice daily in a lot of different contexts. Also, it's a safety measure because you don't know what's on the other side of the door many times. So whether it's the door to your apartment, the door to your house, the door to the backyard, the door that's going to exit a car, or whether they're going through a gate, it doesn't matter. Help them generalize that going through doorways means they wait first and then they're released. If they go to move, just shut that door. That's the consequence. That's the micro timeout that lets them know you can't go through the door unless you're released. Don't leave the door open too long or too wide, about a quarter inch for maybe a second, and then release them. Thanks for tuning in to Modern Dog Training. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and pass this information on to somebody who might need it. Remember, we have a lot of other great videos like this one right here on this channel, so go check it out. Thanks again, train safe, and train force free.